on the highway. That was a two, and they gave me two stars. If I was her, I, that sounds like it should have been a one star. There was not. Welcome back to the Believe in Yourself Network, man. It's your boy Kev B, your host, Mr. Believe. And today, we're going to be talking about Turo Rental Reviews. And if you like these videos and you like these reviews, man, give me a comment, like, and definitely subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace. What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of the Believe in Yourself podcast on the Believe in Yourself Network, where we're talking about Turo. We're helping all our Turo hosts out there. I'm giving you guys my experiences, and what better way than to open up my own experience than to share with you some of the reviews that I've received so that you as potential hosts or hosts out there can know what to expect now that you're getting involved with the platform as far as the type of reviews you to, you'll receive and you know what things guests are looking for. Today's review is a two-star review. It's about my Jeep Patriot. A lot of reviews that I've gotten in the past haven't been a lot, but the Jeep is definitely one that had some, some, some bad reviews in the beginning. So I had to take it back. Let's jump right into it. The vehicle makes a loud noise randomly along with a ticking noise. It's very slow, dot, dot, dot. It struggles to go over 60 miles per hour. It's a gas guzzler. A lot of exterior damage. The vehicle does not look like the pictures has over 100,000 miles, and I would not recommend for out-of-state travel. We only went to Tampa, and the car struggled to go over some hilltops on the highway. That was a two, and they gave me two stars. If I was her, I, that sounds like it should have been a one star. There was not one compliment in that whole entire review. Everything that came out of that was negative, negative, negative negative um man a couple of those problems i do remember i was having with the jeep uh the ticking noises and things like that uh going over 60 miles per hour um i i don't remember because this was a, it's this is a much older review um that i pulled from I do remember the ticking noises and the random noises that it would make. I since have gotten that problem fixed. It was a uh, one of those things that happens with the with the air conditioner. It was a mechanical issue that was going on with the air conditioner. I just had to get another piece for it, and I was able to get that one fixed. Um, as far as the car driving and uh, struggling to go over hills. Um, that wasn't something that I experienced with the vehicle when I drove it. You know, like I said, everybody has different experiences. Um, but one thing I do, because every time I get one of these type of reviews, I always go back and I talk with my... As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. Because if you believe that you can do it, you will do it. 